Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I'm your host Steph and today we're going to make a Chinese takeout inspired Mexican fried rice and most of our families always have some Mexican rice left over so you're going to need about three to four cups. One cup of peas, two carrots, one cup of corn, two eggs, one roasted Anaheim pepper, one green onion, half an onion, four garlic cloves, oil, one third of a cup of chicken broth, half a tablespoon of Maggi seasoning, one teaspoon of Mexican oregano, give that a loving mix, and some chicken. You're gonna start by adding half a teaspoon of pepper to your chicken, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of cornstarch. Give that a good mix until all your chicken is coated with your seasonings. Once you coat all your chicken, you're gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce, and you're gonna give it another loving mix. Once your chicken is fully coated with seasonings, you're gonna go ahead and let it set there for 10 to 15 minutes. And look at that delicious juicy chicken. Place your burner on a medium high heat and drizzle about one tablespoon of oil. Give that about 30 seconds to warm up. We want our oil to be nice and hot before we add our eggs. And in the meantime, you wanna make sure to start beating your eggs. And just keep mixing. We do not want our eggs to burn. And surprisingly, when you add enough oil and you cook these quickly, your house is not gonna smell like burnt eggs and I'm okay with that. Once your eggs are cooked, you're gonna place them onto another plate. And since you don't want any burnt egg smell to your rice, you wanna clean it immediately. And we're back. Add another tablespoon of oil and allow it to warm up for 30 to 45 seconds. And special shout out to my sister. You know, I've moved a lot of times. I've gone through a lot just like anybody else, but I didn't have my walk and my sister was nice enough to give me one of these over the holiday. So I'm happy to be walking it out again. Thanks, Cloud. You're welcome. I've been known to buy walks for those that I love. Oh, you're such a sweetie. <laughs> and we love you for it. Once your oil is nice and hot, you're gonna add your chicken. You wanna give that a loving mix and continue till your chicken is fully cooked. That shouldn't take you more than about two minutes. We're working with tenderloin and that cooks super easy. So if you have chicken breast, it's about the same. And once your chicken is cooked, the same thing, you're gonna place it on the same plate as your eggs. And look at that delicious juicy chicken. Cloud already took a piece, so you guys are gonna have to wait to the taste test. I cleaned up my wok and I'm gonna add a little bit more oil and bring it up to temperature. If you guys decide to buy this wok, I love it because it comes with a little loofah that makes it easy for you to scrub any little sticky things to your wok. Once you bring your wok up to temperature again, you're gonna add your onions, carrots, and you wanna cook them for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you're gonna add your garlic. Mix that up beautifully, just like you've used club. Next, you're gonna add your beautiful corn peas. And remember, if your family doesn't like any of these veggies, you can keep them out and make it comfortable for your home. Your roasted Anaheim pepper. Now there's a little bit more oil because we're gonna be adding our rice. Give that a loving mix. Once you combine your ingredients, you're gonna add your chicken and your egg. And this is where I like to start breaking down the egg. Keeps it nice and fun in the kitchen for me. Once you've combined all your ingredients, you're gonna add your chicken broth mixture. And boom, done, our rice is ready. So you wanna go ahead and turn off your burner. You're gonna add your green onion and a sprinkle of cilantro. And my kids are just like anybody else's. If it doesn't look like the restaurant style, they don't wanna eat it. And since we're not ordering out at the moment, these little takeout containers are just perfect. Just make sure not to microwave them because they do have a little metal unless you have the different ones. But this portion is just perfect to make it super special for them for a snack or for a little quick meal. And they're perfect to pack for the kids for lunch, for your husband or for yourself if you're running errands. And I hope you enjoy my take on Chinese takeout with a Mexican flair. I'm going to need somebody very special to say uh. And I hope you like this recipe as much as my family does. This is a recipe we say in Spanish, sacapuros. It gets you out of a bind when you're rushing or you don't have that much time to cook. This will get the job done. Mm. Absolutely.
absolutely delicious. I hope you have a fun and relaxing weekend. I'm going to miss you, but I'll see you guys very, very soon. Look away. Walk it out. <laughs> As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We hope that you love our creation today. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.